Hey first graders, it's Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy, and today we will be working on Lesson 8 in Unit 2. Let's look at our objective for today. Make 10 when one atom is 8. So, let's look at this problem. Amy wrote 8 letters to her friends. Peter wrote three to his friends. How many letters did they write? What is the expression to solve this story? So we have the numbers eight, and we have the number three, and they wanna know how many did they write? Eight plus three is our expression to show this. And if we're drawing, how should we arrange our, if we're drawing cubes, how should we arrange that? In a five group, right? To put it toward our 10 frame. Okay, so we have here, we have five, six, seven, eight. So how many do we need on the other side? How many yellow cubes do we need? One, two, Three, very good. So we have eight and we have three. Now we wanna make a 10. So we're gonna move these two cubes over here to make a group of 10. Okay, so now eight plus three is the same as 10 plus one. They equal the same. So how many letters did Amy and Peter write? 11, very good. Let's look at this one. Oh, we're still using the same number. Let's use a number bond to show how we broke apart three. We'll move over dark circles to make 10. Okay, so let me show you guys a number bond to show what we did there. Okay, so we took the three, we had the three, and we broke the three up into two and one. And then the eight and the two gives us our 10 plus one more equals 11. Okay, that's how we did that. Back to our PowerPoint. And then of course we put our 10 frame around it, our frame around it. So eight plus two is 10, 10 plus one is 11. Very easy. So eight plus three equals 11. These two equations are equal to each other. Here's a new problem. Eight plus six. We will draw circles to solve this problem. So on your paper or um, whiteboard, go ahead and draw eight and six circles using putting five in a row. Okay, so we have eight, and then we have six. Does yours look like this? Nice job if it does. Okay, let's use a number bond to show how we broke apart six. We will move over dark circles to make 10. How many cir dark circles do we need to move over? To put in here. Two, so we have two and then we have four. So for our number bonds, this time we had eight plus six and this time we had to do two and four in our group of two with the eight equals 10 
plus the number that we still have left over, 4. And we know our 10 plus facts, right? 10 plus 4 equals 14. Okay, nice job. Okay. There's our 10 frame. What is 8 plus 2? 10. What is 10 plus 4? 14. So 6, I'm sorry, 8 plus 6 equals 14. Oops, whoa, whoa, whoa. And these two equations both equal 14, even though they're different numbers. Okay, and let's try one more on my whiteboard. Let's say 8 plus 4. If we have 8 plus 4, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can do this along with me. 6, 7, 8, and then we need 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we, we're going to break this 4 up into 2 and 2, because 2 plus 8 equals 10. So I'm going to bring these two right here. I'm going to bring them over here. And now they're not here anymore. And now I have 10. Sorry about that glare. I'll draw 10 frame around our group of 10. 10 plus how many? 1, 2, 10 plus 2 equals, what does 10 plus 2 equal? 12, very good. 12, all right, nice job, friends. That's all for today. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.